Hi everyone, I'm Bree the Plant Lady. Today I'd like to show you how easy it is to bring flowering tree branches inside and force them to flower. Now the tools you're gonna need are quite simple. Just a few vases with fresh water, there's a helper cat, and then some sharp pruners. Depending on how high up your branches are, you may be able to use hand pruners, but in my case, I'm gonna have to pull out the big, long-handled loppers. The branches I'm gonna force today are from the Prunus mume, also known as the Japanese flowering apricot. And you can see they're in bud with just a few flowers open, and that means they are perfect for bringing in and the flowers will open over the course of the next five to seven days. This is a variety called Matsaburo Red, and it's one of the darkest varieties of Prunus Mume, and it smells like cinnamon. So once you have a big bunch of, of branches cut, the processing is really simple. I don't have, you know, space for enormous arrangements. So I'm gonna even cut some down to this size because that's the perfect scale for a small vase. So basically, I recommend just trimming the branches down and then identifying what pieces fit into the different vessel that you have to go into your home. So as I process those branches down into manageable sizes for each vessel, I was left with this tiny bouquet of little branches, and that is the perfect size to go into a small bud vase. But now this is just one variety of five that I have in the garden. So come with me and we'll go take a few more branch cuttings. already look interesting and smell divine because of all the different varieties of Prunus mumes, but they're missing that little something extra that comes from a leafy foliage texture. So let's go explore and see what we can add to make these arrangements extra special. So when searching for foliage elements to add to a winter interest flower arrangement, I always look for broadleaf evergreens, things like osmanthus. This is goshiki or five colors. This lasts a really long time in a vase, as does this green pitosporum heterophyllum. And this is a really nice one because it's not spiky. And you know, I don't need brilliant foliage to contrast the Prunus mume blooms. I just want something to sort of fill in the gaps, just add a little extra oomph to these arrangements. So I'm gonna concentrate on nice dark green leaves. Another aspect of using foliage from your garden to enhance your winter arrangements is it's an opportunity for you to go out and do some necessary pruning. So just find an overgrown shrub that has interesting foliage and take this opportunity to prune on it. I hope you'll be inspired to go out and make some beautiful arrangements for yourself from your home garden. Be sure to look for plants that have tight buds. Cut those, bring them in so that you can enjoy the first flush of winter interest flowers and make them in every size. That way you can put them in different areas of your house, including the powder room. As always, thank you for watching. Have a great day in the garden.